from emotional pain is all about perspective. Today, I wanna to teach you a new perspective of life events to help you self-reflect and learn more from your emotional pain. Please drop a comment if you have any questions, and here's the clip. How right and wrong don't exist from a certain perspective. Now, I'm not saying that you should just go out and you know kill people randomly. I'm not saying that. But if you wanna think about what steps are necessary for you to like understand the sequence of events and not just individual events and, and how they're providing meaning to your life and how those sequence of events is um, providing opportunities for you to heal, learn, and grow. So here's a scenario I'd like to use about how it's more complex than right and wrong. So let's say, there's two teenage guys, you know, and um, one shoots and kills the other and they're dealing drugs. Okay, so it sounds like the whole thing was bad, right? One guy dies, teenager dies, and one ends up in jail for the rest of his life. Situation's negative all the way around, right? You think that situation is wrong, 100% wrong, right? From the drug dealing, from the killing, to the hurt families, to, you know, whatever, wrong, okay? Punishment is, par for the course. Okay, well, now I'm gonna add on a detail that no one knew. There's a 12 year old boy sitting in a bush watching the shooting. And that 12 year old boy learns how not to get killed. And that 12 year old boy went on to become a doctor and um, create a cure for cancer that was killing thousands, millions of people, you know, everyone tell the story. And no one knew about that boy. So if we get to that to the perspective that all of our souls work together and communicate to create each moment, was that wrong? You know, that, that from like a spiritual perspective, how the souls were working together perspective, all those souls work together so that one kid would stay alive and that one kid would become a doctor and find a cure to cancer and save thousands or, you know, however many people. So when you think of events, step back, look at the bigger picture and ask yourself, what's the sequence? Don't ask yourself right and wrong. What's the sequence and why did that happen? And why is it necessary to happen? Like a lot of people hate Trump. And I don't like hate or not hate Trump. I mean, I, I have a lot of compassion for Trump because he has so much unhealed trauma and he's suffering day in and day out with all that pain inside of him. But is he right or is he wrong? That's not the question that I ask. The question I ask is why was Trump necessary for everyone to learn from? What can we learn from Trump's existence in the White House? What can we learn from how he does business? What can we learn for, you know, how he handled documents? What can we learn from January 6th? So I don't spend time on, am I the victim? Or, you know, who has privilege and who doesn't have privilege? I don't waste my fucking time on that shit because it's, it's a waste of fucking time. What I, what I spend my time on is, why was that necessary? What can I learn personally? And what is the universe trying to teach all of us in general? You know, how is the energy moving? Why would we need someone so self-absorbed, narcissistic, vindictive in the White House? Why is it necessary? So, so when you think about your life and you kind of let go of right and wrong, and, and you stop looking like, you know, judging yourself and, and criticizing yourself. Cause you know, we could do that all day long, but we're not gonna get anywhere. You wanna make progress? You wanna do something with your life? You don't wanna stay stuck in, your, in your, the shit that you're in right now? Then start asking yourself these hard questions. Why is it necessary for my dog to die in front of me? Why? I hope that clip helped you learn how to self-reflect. Please subscribe so you can continue learning how to heal from your emotional pain.